Now, let's talk about uh, clothes, children's clothes. If yes. you don't have name tags in the clothes oh. or, or you haven't had time to put name tags yes, in, this is quite life. handy. So if you've got more than one child, uh, what you use is a, is a marker pen. Let's say you've got three kids, OK? So your firstborn's shirt, your eldest, put a dot on the clothes, OK? Mm -hmm. Secondborn, just take the label again and put two dots on there. So when you look... There you go, so there's two dots on there, so you know yeah. that's your second one, and, and, and so on for the third one. So you can you get them out, you can say, oh, that's two dots, that's my, for me, that would be my holly. Uh, and then when you get hand-me-downs, just add another dot. So when the eldest that's one grows out, add another dot to their idea, one. It's isn't quite it? simple and straightforward. That yeah. is very good, I like that. Let's Never. stay with kids' clothes, shoes, so that they know which shoe to put on which foot when they're little. I've just been having this problem with Belle. It is hard, She isn't puts it? her shoes on the wrong feet every time. Well, yeah, look, so do you. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need these, Holly, and yours. Here, look, here's a lion sticker, OK? So you get a sticker, yeah. any sticker, of their favourite characters, snip it in half and then peel it back, and what you do, put that oh, inside the shoe. Oh, I know what you're going to do. Shoe. I know what you're going to do. Go. I'm going to do so this on all my it's shoes. It's so good, isn't it? And then when the children look at the shoe, they marry up the picture... How like brilliant that, and they know that? what's left and right. It's good, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Go on. Keeping the little ones safe in their beds. If if your children are moving from a little bed, like a cot, yes. to a big bed, you don't want them to roll out. This yeah. is especially good if they're on holiday. Uh, which, you know, often you go abroad somewhere, it might have hard floors, tiles or wood. Yeah. So what you want to do is use one of these. This is the swimming uh, woggle or noodle that we talked yeah. about earlier. Put it underneath the sheet and tape it in place. So it oh, makes like a bolster. It. Yeah, it makes oh, like a bolster. That's a good idea, It's really good. It? Look, if I lift the sheet, you can see. And if you're on holiday, the chances are you'll have one of those noodle things. Uh, yes, just make sure they're dry before yeah, you put yeah. them in the bed. But there you go, it's really simple. And they don't need and it for long. And good temporarily. I mean, you yeah. know, I'd get some proper cot bumpers at home. But, I mean, for, for a temporary kind of... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. Great. Right. Nice. Yep. To watch more exclusive YouTube videos, simply click here and subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. Get some brown paper. Take a section of the brown paper, put it over the, over the wax. This iron here is on. Obviously, you'd never normally have an iron just sitting on the floor on. And then, with, nice and warm, so no steam, so no, no, nothing wet, just a dry ironing over there. Can you see that the wax is already yes, coming through? Yes, I 